All right, now the point of the tab control usually is to have different, if you have especially a very long form, you're, and you want to have like a wizard sort of interface for users to be able to progress through the form. So I will go ahead and we can mock something like that up and we can say like step one, or you might have named sections like your first section might be informational data or trip data, or so you might have some more specific names for your tabs. I'll just call it mine step one, step two, step three. So we'll have three tabs. And then again, we just reference what tab was clicked on. So these fields uh, here, I want them to show if the person's clicked step one and not if they click, oops, I'm gonna spell this out, step two and step three. There we go. Now, so I'm gonna take, I'll just start at the bottom. So I'll say I want whole description card to just show if they're on step three. So I go to the card, so I click on the description card and I go to the visible property and I say, say tab form dot value equals step three. So visible is Boolean, it's true or false. So if the, the thing that is selected is step three, then it will show. So obviously look, it's disappeared.